there. Is there anything different in the huddle now during this three game winning streak that maybe at a different point in the season would have been a different reaction to? Um, I think just knowing the level that we, we have to be at and have to hold ourselves to. Um, I think all year long we've been able to see um, spurts here and there of what we can do, but uh, knowing that that has to be the standard and we have to hold each other accountable um, to that standard. So I think it's definitely been, um, I feel like we've definitely come together a lot more um, over the past couple of weeks. Pete, you're a smart dude. Um, put your head around if we stepped back a month ago or six weeks ago and we said, all right, you're going to get, you're on the road, you're going to get one point from Armando and it's not going to come until 26 seconds left. But you're going to make 14 threes. Like, it doesn't sound uh, that plausible yeah. for uh, this group earlier this season. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I know, um, you know, we, we've been struggling to shoot kind of all year. Um, but we always knew and we were always confident that we had really good shooters in the locker room. Um, so, you know, nights like tonight are no surprise to us. Uh, you know, we see what we do every day and the work that everybody puts in. Um, and like I said before, water always finds its level. So um, I think I think we're starting to see the, the team that we really are when it comes to shooting from the outside. When we were asking you about how you felt, how your lower back was, even as recently as a couple of weeks ago, you said it was fine away from the issue, but it looks like you've been sprinting or bouncing in the last few games. Was it a little bit of an issue, and now it's no longer, or, or what is the case there? Um, I hadn't been feeling it. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> feeling my back. Yeah, I'm a superstitious guy. You were doing it Saturday, too, dude. It feels good. He was doing it Saturday, too. But, uh, you know, I think, I think I've just really just tried to be a lot more active just in general. Um, I think that's the one, the one good thing about basketball is you can learn a lot of things. Um, you know, it's not just about scoring. And, uh, you know, during that stretch where I was having a hard time, you know, putting the ball in the basket, I think, um, you know, I had to turn and look at what can I do and how can I help this team while I'm in this slump. Um, I think just trying to be a lot more active is something that I definitely um, spoke to a couple couple people about. So I think that that might have something to do with it. Are you top a little bit more now? And when you, when you get your open shots on the trailer, are you moving to that spot right before you get the ball? Or you, there's a time before it was a you're just kind of standing out there and get a swing pass and you shoot. Is there, are you getting those looks in a little bit of a different way now? Um, I don't think so. It seems I think like you're around the free throw line more than you were for a while. Yeah, I think um, that's definitely one of my strong suits is I feel like just like distributing from the top of the floor and trying to make plays from up there. Um, and I feel like we've been doing running a lot of actions where I do have the ball up there and um, where I end up being up top. Um, so that's just all the credit to the coaching staff and my teammates for finding me in my spot. Well, who, who is Leaky Black to this team? Man, I think um, I think he's the heart of the team. Um, you know, you look at that guy. Uh, I think it was Green. Is Green his last name on the other team tonight? Um, yeah, the shooter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy good shooter. Um, a guy that the coaches, you know, would have been worried about and we would have been worried about, but we knew that. You know, he was he was going to be a non-factor tonight, um, just because that's the kind of that's the kind of guy that Leaky is. Um, you know, I feel like he's kind of dedicated everything to the team. Because um, offense is the fun part, um, and he just is constantly giving full effort defensively. And um, it's been great to see over the past couple of weeks. Um, you know, he's a really good offensive player too, and. I have the chance for him to show that has been, has been super exciting for all of us. Yeah, I was gonna say he had some. Sorry, AJ, he had some fun tonight. Eighteen and nine. For sure. Yeah, I mean he's he really is. He's a really good offensive player. Um, so seeing him, um, you know, we all had that confidence in him. But seeing him have that confidence in himself um, is huge. Is huge for us and huge for him and huge for this team. Right. I think that was his most emphatic dunk since he's been here. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, Crucial point in the game too. They had all the momentum. Right. Um, and for him to make that play, it was it was, it was huge for us. So the London Orioles have taken our own. <laughs> it's unbelievable, dude. I mean, I want to start back in the day. We take those chart pieces on it. So you guys show up, and there's a case of them. How many of those are yours? Did everybody just kind of yield to you on it? Oh man, I think man, those probably I don't know, like 30 plus things. The London Orioles there. Um, I know I took I took one. Uh, but everybody, everybody was trying them. Um, 
I think everybody liked them. So, uh, you know, you think they're just being nice to you? No, I think they really, they really did. I wasn't even saying anything. I wasn't even saying anything to them. I just let them take them. I wasn't trying to persuade anybody. I just just roll with the curse. They're they're delicious. Sounds good. Thank you. All right.